Good evening. Welcome back to Nashville, Tennessee. I think we're going to have the losers' final match in the main bracket coming up here. And oh, they're already, they already up. started. Gossett and Haas already started. All right. We're jumping right in. Chad Miller, aka Bronzy, joined by Jason Loschiava, Jackie's husband. More commonly known as Jackie's husband. Most known by Jackie's husband. <laughs> they say we look alike. We'll have to cut away to that at some point. So if you just joined us uh, in what can only be described, Jason, as heartbreaking fashion. Unfortunate. That uh, Evan makes it to the loser's bracket final here against uh, Mark Gomez, who played a phenomenal tournament. And to address the uh, some of the Facebook comments and our YouTube comments, you know, it's Kinsler said it really, really well. It's uh, it's tough when you're in that situation to give them that shot back, right? I mean, you're in the match. If you win, you continue on and you make more money and place higher. Um, he didn't see it. Uh, I don't know if there was even a discussion as to whether or not he was going to give it to him. Uh, and, it, and honestly, it shouldn't be. I mean. We all make mistakes playing the game in different ways, and that was a mistake that he made. I've done something similar where I went up to putt and my hand just grazed the ball, and I and I lost by one stroke that game. Um, I feel for Gomez. I love Gomez, and I watched Evan toil over that for like a good five minutes before this match started. Just he doesn't know what to do with it because he doesn't feel like he should be there, but he's the one who won that match. He should be there. It just sucks. There's just times when it sucks. Yeah, I agree. You know, and the good news is, is uh, you know, Mark hopefully can take away from the from the weekend that he played phenomenal, the number one overall qualifier, uh, and then uh, a deep run here in the main bracket. So, you know, all smiles hopefully for him. He can take away the fact that he had a, a really good weekend. But uh, onto our losers bracket final match here, Andy uh, against Evan, two former world champions. You're going to see some uh, some good fireworks here, I think. Yeah, and there's, there's one there's of them right, one there. right off the bat. On cue, Andy Haas, thank you very much for making me look good. <laughs> Setting it up perfectly. So two of the best to ever do it right here, I think. And Andy, I think, doesn't play as much as he used to, but he's still he's still one of the best. Yeah. Uh, it just He knows how to play the game. It can be a brand new course, and he's going to immediately shoot lights out. So up one stroke already through five. This is another one that's going to be a whole out opportunity right off the bat as yeah, well. Yeah, I agree. Andy with the super spinny here might go with a little bit of roll. Give it a run, run and buy it or add it. Ooh, oh, good try. And I think that Evan can do the same thing with probably release here. Yeah, I think release is what he's going to go with. Yeah, so basically what happened with Gomez, unfortunately, he went to clean the ball. He did not, he thought he hit the options button and either it didn't register or he missed the button. And when he went to clean the ball with his towel, obviously then he, you know, he made contact with it uh, and missed the putt. Went into 18, tied up, and then uh, Evan eventually won, um, you know, on a, on a missed chip. A little missed chip that yeah. he should have made, but uh, probably in his head a little bit. But I got to tell you, I think Gomez is the biggest up and comer. Not up and comer because he's great, but sure. like to to get to the next level to win tournaments. Yeah. I don't think there's anyone more primed to win a tournament than Gomez. Well, you know, he plays with some of the best in the world. You know, from where he's at, um, and you know, continues to make you know headway when it comes to qualifying. Obviously, you know, when you qualify number one overall in a tournament with a field this deep, uh, you know, it says something about your skill set for sure. Absolutely. So Haas here, one up early on uh, Forrest, which is a whole, you know, a course that can have some swing holes, right? We've said it many times over the stream here today even. Uh, you can get uh, a couple of different looks later on the back nine, specifically 17, which is easier now with the new tees, but definitely can be a swing hole. And there's definitely stuff that's tucked a little bit, you know, something that you're going to have to kind of get into. Interesting shot even here stuff like Haas. that where... That you know, one that bird is go, beautiful. You know. I think Evan will probably go around to the left. No, maybe a full from the right. A little full, yeah. <laughs> it's teasing us. Yeah. 
Hi, Graham. <clears throat> Graham gets on the live streams, but he doesn't actually play Golden Tea anymore. Graham, play some Golden Tea. Hey, we're going to be in Atlanta in like four days, just FYI. <laughs> Jackie and I. And thank you for saying not for an FYI. It bothers me when people do that. Because you can't. Because the F. Information. The, <laughs> you can't say just for an your for your. It just and doesn't make work. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Back to the golden tee. It's a look here that Andy can be aggressive at for sure. Up one. You're not going to have too much trouble. Yeah, this is a nice look. And more importantly, uh, Evan going after it. I agree. Evan needs the shot, so he's, he's going to be aggressive. That's for sure. Left that one out there just a little bit to the right. Shout out to all the boys watching from West Michigan. Graham, I just gave you three days notice. How much How much notice do you need? Hey, Gino, why aren't you here? Why, is there, why aren't you and your fiance here? Gino just got engaged. Right on, congratulations. Say hi, Dad, look at the Niner shirt. Frank and the boys, Kyle watching. Probably a little bit of G-Ride out there somewhere. What's up, boys? Good to see you. Not a whole lot of excitement on this hole unless you make some sort of a weird mistake. That surprises me. One bird with the backspin? Yeah, just... Um, it seemed short the whole way. I wonder if that's... Uh, I don't want to call it jitters, but just kind of, I've got a one-stroke lead. Just Safe. kind of safety first kind of attitude. Not that Haas is a safety first kind of guy. He's usually going right. for the whole outs. But. but you do have a one-stroke lead, so you feel like you definitely can uh, play slightly more conservative anyway. But as we saw with the last match, Evan is fully capable of holding pretty much anything. Absolutely. Both these guys, I mean, I watch them in awe. I wish I had that kind of game. It's the, the remarkable consistency to me. Um, you know, there's a lot of us can, that can hit the shots, right? But to do it and to do it well at a consistent level, is that's the most impressive that's, part. That's it. That's everything. Because we've all played well. We've all played lights out. And Ooh. another one. Oh, oh so close. <laughs> Evan trying to tell Andy to calm down just a little bit there. <laughs> He's slowing his roll. <laughs> These guys are good friends, so. Hey, Nate. Good to see you there. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're recovering. Yeah, that, uh, unfortunately, that Gomez incident, that'll be called upon many times. Yeah, that's going to be talked about for a little while. Similar to your uh, Clint Grover club change. I think that's yeah, going to be... Yeah, that one was... Uh, that'll be a meme. <laughs> if we don't have controversy, is it even interesting to come <laughs> to a tournament? Art, are you on the in the car watching the live stream? Going into hole 13. Fairly straightforward here. Get it in the fairway. Yeah, give yourself a nice approach at this. Don't don't make it too hard on yourself. I think it's the most important part. I've the, seen plenty of people in qualifying get tucked behind uh, either left or right because they didn't set themselves up for it. I think if you're Andy Haas, you put it in the right spot there. And if you're Evan, you know, you're still trying to look to be aggressive here to find a stroke somewhere. Well, he's got a nice setup here. He's got a good win. He's got a good good look at it. I like the bite. There, ooh, very nice. He hits so quick, too. These guys, they know the shot, like, instantly. Like, if I'm down a stroke, I'm kind of thinking, like, where do I need to place this? What's right. the bite going to do? Evan knows exactly what it's going to do. I mean, he, you know, he didn't hole out, but he just easily could have holed out. When you get to this level and these guys have hit literally thousands and thousands millions. of shots. Millions, millions of shots. Right. They know coming in, they look at the wind, they look at the lie, they look at the you know distance, and they instantly know this is what I need to do. It's instant. Yeah. yeah. Always oh. interesting with Andy and his thumbs. The thumb, the wild thumbs. I was just <laughs> going to say. 
If I do a shot like that with thumbs like that, I'm in the water or in the sand. He's skimming by the hole with those wild thumbs. I like to think that I've got a pretty decent to, to fairly decent thumb game. Um, I definitely can hit him hard, but the accuracy of these guys is what's most impressive. I have a decent thumb game. It's, it's when his <laughs> thumbs go in like eight directions in a half a second. Well, that one clip shows him you yeah, know, yeah. flipping his thumbs cross-eyed before <laughs> anything. Always an interesting look here on uh, 15. You know, these guys can more than likely stick it <clears throat> with a well-played bite shot, 10 yeah. and a half. Um, Fairly straightforward look on 15. It could Good get a look. lot ugly. You can be, yeah, you can be aggressive here. This is this is a nice looking hole here. As long as Evan Ooh. isn't short. Oh my God. What a break there. He uh, especially if he makes this, that's huge. If I hit that same exact shot, mine goes in the water somehow. Oh, yikes. So you're likely gonna see another couple of swing or uh, one stroke swing here. And with Andy already being one up, going two into 16. Yeah, there's not much there. Clear advantage, Haas. One stroke with these guys, you never know. Two strokes is, is uh, that's a little bit much to catch up on. And so if you're Evan, right, you were hoping that this was drivable or potentially drivable to make Andy think about it. I think it's a little far. And I think Evan's going to have to do the right yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, out. I don't blame him for looking at it, but right. I think this is not where you get aggressive. You want to hole out from the fairway. Well, he's he gonna is going to get it. aggressive. Okay. Yeah, see that it was just too far away. I don't, I don't blame him necessarily, but I think you try to hole out from the fairway there to get I agree. your stroke. You know, nobody's typically going to question Evan Gossett's decisions on his golden tee, uh, but that's one I think he'd like to have back. Absolutely. So at least one, maybe that's, two. Yeah, and that's a big part of the game is is if you're down, you have to know when to be aggressive and when you need to uh, just settle up. And, and you're running out of time, 16th hole. Right. Uh, but I think the time was to be aggressive was from the fairway to hole out. Yep. So three strokes now, which is, uh, you know, in a match this of this magnitude, fairly we got a fun large. look here. Definitely going to be interesting. And uh, by the look on Andy's uh, face yeah, there, Andy... he doesn't like it. <laughs> Andy wanted something a little easy. And for him, it was super easy. Wow, well played <laughs> shot there. Your speed has to be just about perfect for that to it's happen. so nice, good thumbs. And the Evan thumb pushy. <laughs> That's the Evan I know where I'm, what's going on right now. Right. So three strokes going into 18. Obviously, advantage highs. If it's super ugly, do you lay up if you're Andy, or you hit it a million times and you still go for it anyway? I think you always go for it. I don't, I mean, three strokes, I don't even, well, and I stand corrected again. That's why you're sitting in the chair. I, this is why I'm in the chair. <laughs> I could have been in the chair hours ago, but Tim Boyer wanted to be in here for six hours at a time. He did. So. Good shot here by yeah. Evan. He'll, uh, you know, probably gain just the one unless something catastrophic, which we saw happen, right? Yeah, we've seen catastrophe. Not not right now, though. A little short of where I think he wanted to get, but... Uh... Smart move by Haas. I just figured with three strokes, like, I would, I would go for it. But then again, I would be in the chair again. Right. So give that one to Andy, who was in command for most of the match, uh, and then a couple of late... Mistakes.